Listen, if you're listening to this, yeah, and you haven't made any progress in the last two months, what have you got to lose? There you go. Okay, what have you got to lose? Train maximum three times a week. Split your body into three body parts, three whatever, chest, shoulders, tricep, back, bicep, legs. Train, warm up, do one set, two set to warm up, whatever it takes, and then just go balls in. And you got to focus. You've got to focus on the muscle. You've got to focus on the mechanics. Yeah? And some exercises, you've got two levels of strength. Some, you've got three. So if you have resistance in the peak contraction, you have three. So let's take a pull down for back. You've got three there. Positive, pull in. Weakest part of the movement. Static, hold, stronger than the positive. Negative, strongest part of the movement. So we can do the positive with controlled power. Get here, you should be able to pause for a second. If you can't pause there for a second, you didn't get it there with musket. You yeah. Use momentum to get it yeah. going. No momentum. Down, pause, slow, control. Keep doing this. Have a training partner there if, not, if, you, if you can, yeah? Because you're going to fail here. Yeah. Yeah? And it can help you through that to get here where you're still strong and get to here where you're still strongest too. So you need to do a couple of reps like there where you're really going beyond failure. Done. Nice. Finished. That exercise is done. Go to another one. Maybe three exercises for your back. Yeah. So we're talking about three sets of pull downs, two or three sets of rows, because you need to warm up with one or two sets. Yeah. And maybe two or three sets of cable rows and finish with two or three sets of deadlifts. One, two, three, four exercises, leave the gym. You can do that in half an hour. If you, listen, if you haven't progressed in the last two months, if you do what you did in the last two months, in the next two months, what will you get? Exactly the same results, yeah? I don't know if it was Einstein or maybe <laughs> somebody. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over again and expecting a different outcome. Yeah, it's yeah? Einstein. Yeah. Right? So if you, what you're doing now is not working now, it won't work next week or the week after or the fucking week after that or so on and so on and so on. So if you're not making progress, visual progress, in two months, you're not getting stronger, and, and, you know, we can make this whole process sound very complicated, which is what internet gurus and trainers try to do to, to, sell to, to validate themselves, yeah, yeah, to, exactly. to make themselves sound important. Yeah, yeah. It's not that complex, yes? You must get stronger to get bigger. So if your weights are going up, great sign. You, you're growing. Yeah. If they stayed the same as they were last month or the month before, you are not going anywhere. And you will not go anywhere in the next two months. So reassess come back, do a lot less, get a lot more rest. You might even start like this. First of all, take a week off. Don't do any training for a week. Let your body recover. Come back to an abbreviated routine. And you will respond. Trust me, if you're doing it properly. That, that's a gem. I think that, that's something that it's I have heard anyone. I'm, challenging, heard I'm anyone. challenging anyone that's listening to this. Yeah. If you haven't progressed in the last two months, you will not progress in the next two months. I'll guarantee you that. Come on, logic. Think about it, guys. Yeah? So change it. Change it up. Change it to a brief routine, and you will find that you're going to start. Ooh, I've got one more rep. Ooh, it's going up. It's going up. Yeah, that's right. There you I'm go. I'm surprised. <laughs> um, but that, I think that is, that's something I'm going to carry into my own training. So, forward, so I, I should finish. the Arthur Jones. Yeah. He was the guy, and you should read Arthur Jones. Not saying he got everything right because he wasn't a competitive bodybuilder, which is a bit different because the average person just needs to build the main, you know, basic exercise, the main muscle mass. In a bodybuilding contest, we maybe we uh, need to work the side delt and the mm. rear delt. Average person doesn't need to do that for you know for the health and so on. Yeah. Um, so you know, some things Arthur wasn't thinking along the lines of a competitive bodybuilder. So Arthur Jones was the guy that came up with this theory. And, of course, the Nautilus machines, which were amazing. We've yeah, got the pullover machine. Yeah. Nautilus machine is amazing because uh, the cam ensures that, like, if you have a barbell and you do a curl, at the bottom the resistance is very little. Mm. And as you go up, it gets more and more until you hit the midpoint where it's maximum, and then it falls off again. Yeah. With the Nautilus machines, that means you've got the maximum resistance all all the way through uh, the movement. So they were revolutionary and still the best weight training machines 
on the market without a doubt, yeah? Yeah. And his son, Gary Jones, uh, made the, the hammer strength line. Oh, he actually yeah. made that, did he? So, yeah, yeah. So that's, you know, uh, related as well. Also another great piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. And then Mike Mensah came along, who was a competitive bodybuilder, world champion, pro, uh, wrote a lot for the Weeder magazines, uh, got demoralized in 1980 when he got fifth place in the Olympia that he was expecting to win, and Arnold came along at the last minute and uh, decided to enter the contest, although that shouldn't have been allowed. But yeah, anyway, but he gets you know, special treatment. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, it's Arnold, so he did that, and uh, Mike Mensah retired after that point i think he never really recovered from that but that was the history that i was introduced with and and i took that and kind of adapted a bit uh, and used my training diaries as my kind of scientific experiment which was basically collecting data yeah i was collecting data on my training and analyzing what would happen if i changed you know if i trained more often and if i trained more often my progress would come to a halt Ooh. Hmm. So let's go back to an abbreviated routine. Boom, start growing again. All right, don't need to learn that lesson over and over again, do I? That's Thank you for that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, three or four times a week, uh, three times a week if you're natty, don't try to do more than that. <laughs> uh, and go in there and train strictly, warm up one or two sets, and then just all out, everything, life depends on its set, and move on, do another exercise. Three exercises for back, three for quads, maybe two for delts, two for biceps, triceps. If I write this down on the piece of paper and give it to somebody, it looks like nothing. They're like, well, it's nothing. Yeah, yeah, people almost want to do more. Just, yeah, just well, to this is human nature. Their head. Human yeah. nature, I understand it. More yeah. is better, but it's not in this case. Yeah. More intensity is better, not more yeah. volume. Yeah? More intensity. Mike Mensah used to say, you know, human nature to assume that more is better. And it's not except for money and women. <laughs> and you're probably wrong about those two as well. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'll bring you problems as well. Yeah, yeah? More, more money, more women, so, more problems. Yeah, more is not better, man. Nice. Better so, is better. Yeah. And so what's Smarter your, is better. Yes, there yeah. you go. 